And just like everyone else, I'd like to thank you, Eric, for everything you're doing, all the hats you're wearing. Uh, I'd also like to start with thank yous to, to my wife, everything she uh, deals with, and being a wife of a, a football coach, um, to the, the families of my assistant coaches, to my assistant coaches, all the effort they put in, to our athletic director, Mark Coleman, and to our president, Dr. Shepard. Uh, just thank you, and thank you to the media and the RMAC for putting on this great event. Um, our program and where we're at, you know, I'm going into year four, and I, I think we've grown to a point where we've become a respectable program. Uh, again, I've been in the RMAC now for five years, um, the two at, at Mines, and then uh, three down at Western New Mexico, and I think the conferences continue to grow and continue to get better, and I think our program has as well. Uh, I think we got to a point where we showed we could compete. Um, last year we were four and seven, and five of those seven losses we were either winning or uh, within one score in the fourth quarter. We didn't do a great job finishing. Um, we've been very young over these past few years. We've played a lot of young players, and we've got a lot of guys now that have played a lot of football for us. Um, my first recruiting class will now be juniors and redshirt sophomores. Um, we still finally have, but we have leadership that we haven't had in the past. You know, we do a leadership council like many of you may uh, do within your programs. In the past, we haven't had great leadership from our leadership council. Now we finally have a group of guys that have been in our program, that have helped build it, uh, that we feel are quality players that can really provide us with some great leadership. And we feel like we made some great strides in our offseason in terms of just our toughness, our attitude, and again, our leadership. Uh, we feel like we had another outstanding recruiting class, a uh, number of transfers that will come in and compete and help make us better to go on top of uh, a lot of you know, really juniors and, and still only a few seniors, but we're still going to be a junior-dominated team. Um, but still, all those juniors have played a lot of football at this point. My hope is all of that equates into a mature football team that has the ability to not only compete with the best teams in the RMAC, but, but you know, finding ways to, to, to win those close games in the fourth quarter. Um, so that's, that's my hope coming into this year. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, but I feel we have a great, op great opportunity to be a pretty good football team. Uh, offense, going through our offense first. Uh, Eric mentioned him. That uh, starts with our quarterback. It's the first time in, in, in my four seasons that I have a returning quarterback. It's nice to have that and nice to know what you have in that position. Uh, Mitch had an outstanding freshman year. Uh, Mitch Glassman did, throwing 27 touchdowns and over 3,000 yards. Uh, he's just going to keep getting better. He developed as a leader. He developed his skills. Uh, we're really excited about what he can be. Going to be just a, a true sophomore, I think he has a chance to be, to be great. Uh, we're going to have good people to protect him. Uh, we have four of our five offensive line starters returning from a group that we thought was pretty good last year. Um, some young guys that have de developed behind those guys. Uh, I think Mike Coe, who was a true freshman last year, I think he was the only true freshman that was on the all-conference team, I think, maybe one of only a couple. Um, I think he's special. I think he's going to end up being the, the best tackle in this league when it's all said and done. Uh, he's only going to be a sophomore, but I think he's special. And our center is a great leader for us. Jose Flores does a great job for us there. Um, running back, a lot of experience, two guys that rush for over 1,000 yards combined coming back, and we're adding more to that mix. We feel we're going to have maybe you know, five to six guys that touch the ball as running backs for us, and uh, we feel like we have a number of them that are very, very talented, including a couple transfers in the mix, as well as some very steady and reliable guys that, that made some plays for us last year. Uh, at the tight end position, Brent Courtney is a guy we feel has all-conference type of ability. He's a big guy, big target, who runs well, does a lot of things really, really well. Uh, he's played a lot of games for us, started all last year as a sophomore, started a few games as a true freshman as well. Really excited about what he can do. At the wide receiver position, uh, Donald Bird and Rennell Pompey have made a lot of plays for us over the last couple years. Uh, Rennell Pompey at this point has over 100 catches in his career. Uh, he's a very good leader, a great competitor for us. Donald Bird was a second team all-conference guy last year. Uh, big, play uh, big play guy that showed he can make people miss, uh, can run by people as well. And we feel like we have great depth surrounding those two and other wide receivers that will be able to compete uh, with, with those two and uh, give us a, an explosive group there. So we're looking for big things from our offense. They were pretty good last year, um, did some good things, not as consistent as they are capable of being. Uh, but if they can get a few things ironed out and then, again, become that mature group that we think they're capable of, we think we can be pretty dang good on offense. Uh, defensively, we were very young last year. Um, took some huge, huge injuries early in the year last year. Uh, we lost both of our starting safeties before we played a game, and I got one game out of our two starting inside linebackers. And three of those guys were seniors, and it just really hurt us. Uh, the good thing about that was we had to play a lot of young guys, and all of them are coming back now. So we have a, a ton of guys on defense that have played a lot of football for us. Uh, we also have some very good transfers that we feel will come in and make us better on that side of the ball every, uh, all around. 
uh, defensive linemen. Uh, we feel like we have our best group that we've had in our time here at Western. Uh, we feel like we have some, some better size. We've always been a little bit undersized playing a 230 pound defensive lineman. Not great in this conference. I think there's some pretty good offensive linemen here. And if you're going to play a 230 pound defensive lineman, uh, I just don't know that you can hold up throughout the whole year. So we've made it a concerted effort to get bigger there. And we feel like we have. Uh, we feel like we just got bigger guys there, better athletes. Um, and uh, Anthony Avina's returning starter, that when he's on, he's playing to his capability. Uh, our nose guard, we feel, is one of the better guys in the conference. But he's got to do it all the time. Um, and uh, we moved Zach, uh, Zach Dombrowski to outside linebacker. He had nine sacks last year. Uh, was, did a great job, but he's one of those guys that's about 230 pounds in our 3-4 system feel he can do more at the outside linebacker position. He had a great spring. Uh, besides that, we have three more guys that played a lot for us last year at outside backer. Um, inside linebacker, we have uh, Gerald Hines coming back, who some of you guys might have seen. We put his hand down as well. He had eight sacks last year in our nickel stuff. We put his hand down. He's, he's a very athletic guy. He was supposed to be an outside backer for us, but after injuries, we moved him to inside, and he did a great job. Uh, really excited to have him back. I think he's a pretty special player as well. The defensive backfield, uh, again, a lot of guys that played last year. We lost a great one. Uh, we lost one, one great one in Bernard Williams, our corner from last year. But overall, we're going to have more depth. Uh, one of those safeties we lost last year at the start of the year broke his foot, medically registered, so we get him back. And uh, Nick Cook is, is someone we're really excited about. Deshaun Hawthorne last year had a good year for us. He'll move from safety to corner. And we think he's a pretty special player as well. And uh, again, we've brought a number of transfers at the defensive back position just to give us more depth because we did happen to go through so many safeties last year. By the end of the year, our top five safeties were gone. Um, so we tried to try to build as much depth as we could there to, to deal with it. In the kicking game, Josh McIntyre was a true freshman for us last year. Uh, did a good job. Uh, was inconsistent early in the season, but ended up hitting his last five field goals. Has a big leg. Uh, over his half of his kicks were touchbacks and uh, could, you know, hit, hit field goals from over 50 pretty easily in practice. Just got to get more consistent. And, uh, but he's got a big leg and did a good job as, a, as our punter last year as well. Um, like I said, uh, the RMAC has just continued to get better. And in my time here in this conference, I think every week you do have to show up because uh, anyone can beat you. It's just a fun league to be a part of, and it's great to, to come in week in, week out, and uh, you know, put it all together and go out and try and win games. And we're excited about what we're capable of this year. Any questions? Thank you.